we're discussing here about what is the total addressable market, which is also called as TAM. Why is the total addressable market relevant? An investor would like to know that how large is the potential market? Is it like $100 billion or it is merely like $1 billion because it's a new market you are trying to test? Then startup in that market makes sense or not? If you are saying it's an exemplary product, it's extraordinary, but uh, if the clients are not ready to pay for it, it is a small market and uh, your startup will not make a sense in that. It is also relevant for understanding the scalability and potential revenues. If you're saying some projections that if it is $10 billion at the end of three year period, and if the market is growing merely by 2%, it is not that big, then the projection has to be again relooked at. It also helps in fundraising. Why are investors again and again asking for the total addressable market is they want to calculate the return then how much return will they get after they uh, give a particular uh, funds to your company? And whether the funds you're asking could be deployed in that market, whether you have done the market research or not. There are two ways to calculate the total addressable market. The first is the top-down approach and the other is the bottom-up approach. The top-down approach means where you have a product where market size is defined. You have a market sizing data, maybe from a research report or maybe from some articles, etc. It has to be from a renowned source. That has to be a priority. You have a market sizing data. You will slice down to find the relevant data for your business model. You segregate the online and offline model. If uh, of course, it's a technology-based company these days, so you have to separate that, okay, if the internet penetration is not there in certain areas, that won't be your total addressable market. Then add all the markets, all the sectors, all the uh, you know countries where you want to expand. Let's take an example. For example, the global education market size is $1,000 billion today. And you are saying, your business model caters to K-12 market size, which is say 60% of the total addressable market size. You will say it is 600 billion market. Then you will say the potential K-12 online market size is 150 billion. That is 25% of the total K-12 market sizes online. For remaining, there is no internet penetration, for example. Then if you say that my market is only Asia because my product is Asian and uh, Asia constitute 30% of the global market, that makes it $45 billion. So this is the total addressable market calculated through top-down approach. Then we talk about the bottom-up approach. Bottom-up approach is valid where there is a, a new untested market. You do not have the market size details, etc. You can use this method easily. Uh, so you have to uh, take that, you know, it is relevant for any specialized products, untested, the market is not validated, you've just taken a survey. So you have to compute a focused market. What you have to do is you have to find the customers whom you could sell the product. So the total addressable market is bigger than the target market and we'll talk about it in detail. So if you say your market is Asia, like we discussed in the previous example. You're saying the potential customers for my market in Asia is 1 million people. And the average ticket size I can charge from these customers, it is also dependent on willingness to pay, is $5,000 per customer. Then your total addressable market becomes potential customers multiplied by the average ticket size becomes $5 billion a total addressable market. Why should you alter TAM after some period of time? And how and why you should alter it? If you are upgrading your product and it becomes more attractive to other customers also, let's say in this kind of economy uh, during COVID, 
the B2C players are moving towards B2B, then obviously your total addressable market will expand or decrease. If you're changing the price after some time, maybe you're decreasing it or you are expanding it in the bottom up approach, you can see that the total addressable market will change. Then you're making various packages for different level of target audience to increase the geographic reach or otherwise. Or either you are expanding or degrowing in some markets, your total addressable market will change. It is always advisable to revise the TAM so as to focus the level of the company you want to build. Because if you're saying I'm SME, you have to focus on a certain uh, you know, target market size. If you're saying that I, am, I, uh, I intend to become a large corporation, then your TAM will be different. How is total addressable market different from target market? The total addressable market means how big is the universe, irrespective of whether you're able to reach or you're not able to reach. Then it comes to served available market. That is the portion of the total addressable market being served right now. We'll talk about it within, with the help of an example. Then you're talking about the target market. Target market is the most likely buyers or the market you will going to capture easily. That okay, they require it and you can sell it upfront. This is the target market. Let's say you have a problem. You are saying that my product can be sold globally. So the global, uh, global education market size is thousand billion dollar. But you are saying that there are there is no internet penetration in forty percent of the uh, regions globally. So it becomes obviously six hundred billion dollar market. Then you will say, out of the six hundred billion, I can only capture uh, with this product. This level of product can only capture, let's say, you know, twenty percent of the market. Then it becomes your target market. Target market is a short term market you would like to capture, a startup should like to capture. This is all about total addressable market, target market. If you have any questions, please write to us at info at fundtq.com. I-N-F-O at fund, F-U-N-D-T-Q.com. I hope you like this video.